guys, I'm Coach Miller. All right, so today we are going to be working on making shapes with our bodies and learning different levels. So we're gonna be talking about low level, which is down really low like this, medium level, and high level. And then making shapes with our body. And I want you to follow along with me and do the shapes with me. Okay, the first thing we need to do is make sure we do a safety check. Safety check. Make sure you have room to move around safely. Check the floor. Make sure you're not wearing socks or anything that's going to make you slip on a hard floor. And know your body and your ability. If you need a break or a drink of water, go ahead and get one. All right, you guys. So our first shape that we're going to do is going to be at high level. Everybody say high level. High levels up here like this, we might be standing, we might be jumping, okay? But for this one, we're just gonna be standing and we're gonna make some circles with our arms. Okay, so we're gonna do some arm circles. So we're gonna make really big arm circles to start just like this, good. Good job, big arm circles. Great, can you make medium arm circles? There you go, medium. What about little tiny ones? Just like this, good job. Little tiny arm circles. Can you go the other way? Change direction, good. Can you make those medium circles? Nice, so not just levels with our body, but also different sizes, right? Can you make those big arm circles again? Nice job, good job. Getting our arms all nice and warmed up, our muscles warmed up. Okay, the next one we're gonna do is going to be a balancing activity. So can you just try to balance on one leg for me? See if you can balance on one leg without falling all over the place like this. Good, okay, when I'm balancing, I'm gonna make sure, maybe I put my hands out like this. Sometimes that helps you balance. Find something to look at, like right now, I'm looking right at the camera, and that can help me to balance. Can you try your other foot? Woo, that one was a little wobbly for me. There we go, good job. Try to get that good balance. Okay, now that we've balanced, we're gonna make a shape with our leg. We're gonna make a circle, just like we did with our arms, but now we're gonna make it with our legs. So can you put one leg out and make a circle? It might be a little harder to balance, right? Try to get that balance. If you really need to hold on to something, you could try that. Look, I'm holding on to the wall. But if you can get that balance, that's even better. Good, I switched legs. You do little ones, little circles. Little, little, little circles. Switch legs, little circles. Nice job. Great job, you guys. Okay, the next activity we're gonna do is going to be at medium height. Medium, so we just did everything at, at um, the high level. Now we're gonna go to medium, and we're gonna do a chair pose. So a chair pose, I'm gonna turn sideways like this. I'm gonna have my feet together, but I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see. And I'm gonna pretend I'm sitting in an invisible chair, okay? There's not really a chair here, but I'm gonna sit down like I'm gonna sit in a chair. Look at my invisible chair. I'm gonna put my hands out to help me balance, okay? What level do you think this is? High, medium, or low? Medium, you're right, this is medium level. We were at high level, and now we're at medium level. Chair pose, good. If I changed my legs to put them apart like this, we call this shoulder width apart because my feet are kind of in line with my shoulders. Touch your shoulders, good, touch your feet. It should be like a line, right? From my shoulders to my feet, an invisible line. Now I'm gonna do that chair pose again with my feet apart. I'm gonna do it sideways again so you can see and I'm gonna go just like I'm sitting in that invisible chair and this is at what level? Medium, good. Medium level, and this is not just kind of a chair pose, but we call that a squat. That's an exercise. An exercise that a lot of people do for getting our heart rate up, getting our muscles and our legs all nice and strong, just like that. Good, and that's a squat. Okay, so the next one we're gonna do is going to be at low level. So we're gonna get our feet together and we're gonna crouch down really low. We're gonna be on our, on our toes. We're not gonna be sitting on our bottoms. This is low level. And we're gonna jump up 
to high level and we're gonna make a star, okay? So we call these star jumps. So when I jump up, I'm gonna put my hands out like this and my feet out like that and I'm gonna jump, okay? So here we go, ready? Like, boop, okay? But I'm gonna come from way down here, low level and all the way up to what level? High level, you're right. Okay, so ready? Here we go. I'm gonna say one, two, three, star, and we're gonna jump up together. Ready? One, two, three, star. Good. Okay, now we're gonna go the opposite way. We're gonna start with our star, and we're gonna do a falling star. So this time I'm gonna say falling star, and we're gonna go from our big star up here all the way down to the falling star in the tiny little ball, okay? Okay, here we go, ready? Okay, get your hands out, get your legs out. One, two, three, falling star. Boom, good. Back up to our big star. One, two, three, star. Boom, good. And falling star. One, two, three, go. Falling star, good job. All right, awesome, you guys. All right, so now we're gonna do another low level activity. And this one, we're gonna make the shape of a V. Okay, so we're gonna go into a V. So. We're gonna sit on our bottoms. We're gonna put our hands on the ground, or you can put them on your legs if you need to, but I'm gonna put them on mine on the ground. And I'm gonna lean back a little bit. This is gonna be an, an exercise for my core muscles, which are my stomach muscles and my back muscles. So all these muscles right here, you're gonna feel them, I think. And I'm gonna put my legs out like this. And now look, see my body? It's making a V, the shape of a V. So can you make a V? I know it's kind of hard to hold your legs up. You can put your hands here if you need to stabilize your body. Good, all right, and that's a V at low level. Great job, you guys. Okay, now that we have worked on our um, levels, our low, medium, and high levels, and we've done some shapes, we've done circles, we've done the chair pose, We've done the V sit, right? All sorts of different shapes. Now we are going to work on our directions, okay? So for this activity, you're gonna get a stuffed animal, okay? Now don't get one that's too big, something kind of small that you could hold in one hand. See, I can hold this dolphin in one hand, okay? So if it's a really big stuffed animal that you can't hold in one hand, don't pick that one. Pick one you can hold in one hand. Okay, pause the video. Go get a stuffed animal and then come back. Okay, good, you got your stuffed animal, perfect. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna learn some directions, okay? So, and some directional words. Okay, so the first one is over. Okay, so we're gonna hold our stuffed animal over our heads. I'm gonna come down low so you guys can see. Okay, so hold your stuffed animal over your head. Great job, okay, it is over our heads. We are under it. Okay, good. Our next word we're gonna use is under. We're gonna put our stuffed animal under our bodies. Hmm, how will we put it under our bodies? Well, we could just put it under us and lay on it, but we're not gonna do that. This is PE, we're gonna do a muscle exercise. So we're gonna put our stuffed animal on the ground. We are going to plank over our stuffed animal. Okay, so put it on the ground, and a plank is like a push-up position. Okay, so we're gonna be on our hands. So we're gonna put our hands about shoulder width apart. Okay, again with that shoulder width. Our hands are in line with our shoulders. And we're gonna put our feet out together like this. And we're gonna hold our body over our stuffed animal. Okay, so now our body is over our animal. And our animal is under us. Good job. So now we've learned over and under. All right. Our next directions that we're gonna learn are behind and in front of. So we're gonna take our stuffed animal and we're gonna put it behind our backs. Okay, good. And now we're gonna put it in front of our bodies. Everybody move your stuffed animal in front of your body. Good. Now it's in front of my body. Okay, put it back behind. Good. And now back in front. Okay, let's do a little pass around activity. Ready? Put it in one hand, pass it behind your back, and then in front of your body. Behind your back, in front. Good job, and keep it going. See how fast you can go. Can you get, pick up speed? Pass it really, really quick. 
Good job. Can you move the other way? Start it slow. Go the other way, behind, in front. Behind, in front. All right, when you've got it, pick up speed. See how fast you can go without dropping your stuffed animal. Good job, you guys. All right. Okay, our next direction is next to. So we're gonna take our stuffed animal and put it on the ground next to us. Okay, so it's right next to me and my toes are pointed forward. They are not pointed at my stuffed animal. So my stuffed animal is next to me and I'm gonna do a jump over my stuffed animal. And so are you. So put your feet together. Now when we jump, we wanna be on the balls of our feet, which are kind of like our toes. Okay, and we wanna bend our knees and use our arms to push us off the ground. Okay, practice one in place. Jump, good job. Okay, so in this one, we're gonna jump over our stuffed animal. It's next to us, and we're gonna jump over it. Ready? One, two, three, jump, over. Good, look, it's still next to us. It's just on the other side. Let's go back over, ready? One, two, three, jump. Good, is it still next to us? It is, it's just on the other side. Let's do five jumps together, ready? Here we go, ready? One, two, three, four, five. Good job. Okay, for the next one, we're not gonna be next to our stuffed animal. We're gonna go behind and in front of. So leave it on the floor where it is, but turn your body so that your toes are facing your stuffed animal. So my stuffed animal is in front of me, right? Okay, and now I'm gonna jump forward and backwards, okay? So when I jump forward, I'm gonna go over my stuffed animal, ready? Forward. Now jumping backward is a little bit different, so make, that is where we make sure our stuffed animal isn't too big. And I'm gonna do the same thing, bend my knees on my toes, ready? Okay, one, two, three, backwards. Boom, good job, okay. So now my stuffed animal is back in front of me. Ready, here we go, forward, good, and backwards. Good, all right, awesome job, you guys. Okay, that's a lot of directions we learned today, right? So we learned shapes with our body, we learned high level, medium level, and low level, and we learned lots of directions. We learned forwards and backwards. We learned next to, behind and in front of. And we learned above and under, or on top of and under. So great job, you guys. You guys did an awesome job. We probably got our hearts pumping pretty good. You feel your heart pumping a little bit? Maybe a little bit out of breath with all that movement? That means you're working hard. So great job. Thumbs up. You are awesome. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.